Hi, my name is Brad, and uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to clear up some confusion about the book of Revelation. There are a lot of misinterpretations about this book ever since uh, man attempted to interpret it. That's because they don't know who God is. God didn't write the scriptures, didn't have the scriptures written for common man to, to read. He wrote them, had them written so that his future prophets, Jesus and saints, could gather some prophecies and understanding and add it to the understanding they already had. What people don't realize is that Jesus had God in him after he received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is understanding of all things. That's who God is. God is the originator of all thoughts. That's where everything comes from. And he, uh, he put that into Jesus. It's like a duplicate of himself. This is called the Word. He created the Word to be the voice, his voice, to communicate to his creation. And ever since uh, that happened with Jesus, Everybody who came to know God and obeyed Him, I should say all the saints, received this word in their heart, just like Jesus did. The reason the saints got it, because they were all originally created as the word of God. Now the prophets that came before them were also created as the Word, but they didn't get to have this Word live in their heart. Because they were sinners. Jesus was the first sinless man. So God could come and live in Him. God couldn't live in His prophets. But since they obeyed the Word, he was able to speak through them because they were created as the Word to speak for God. So all these people were made to speak for Him. So the, the book of Revelation is all about these people and how they escaped the beast that the beast is the is the sins of the flesh that we all were born with how did they escape it by being obedient to God's word that's all it took obedient to his word listening to his word They heard his voice and they responded to it in obedience. And they kept obeying him. Every time God came to them and, and asked them for something, or commanded them, I should say, they obeyed him. And, this, and after a while, God realized, because he already knew this, before, before creation he knew these people would respond to him he knew they would obey, obey him and eventually 
he used them to speak. Now the uh, the saints, Jesus and the saints, had to become sinless. That was a requirement before God would come and live in them and then use them to speak through. They're still human, like me, like Jesus, like all the saints. We're all humans, just like everybody else, but we were made sinless. We don't have those those desires of the world anymore. We don't have greed. We don't have lust. We don't have hate. We don't have gluttony. The reason for that is how can we speak for God if we're still in the world? How can we possibly how can we possibly be sinners and condemn sin? How can we be sinners and judge others? We're the only people authorized to speak for God. But we have people all over the world thinking they can speak for Him. And they speak lies. Why do they speak lies? Because they're not saints. They were never made sinless. They, have, they are still in their sins. They're not obedient to God. They don't even know who God is. All they know is the God that they read about in the Bible. Or the Quran, Or the Talmud or whatever holy books they're not of God they want to be like God they want to stand up in front of people and be praised for how good they do they want your money to live on they don't know who God is they don't teach you who God is. They don't even teach you how to get there. They have no idea. They preach a gospel that says all you have to do is pray, say, uh, I believe in Jesus. Well, who's Jesus? <laughs> Jesus? I don't know who Jesus is, but it says in the Bible. What do you mean it says in the Bible? What does the Bible have anything to do with Jesus? What does the Bible have anything to do with God? They're just words in the book. Praise the Lord. What does that mean? Praise who? What are you praising? You don't even know who the Lord is. Do you know what it takes? To know the Lord? It takes your whole life. Everything about you. He wants it all. Not just a sin. Not just going to church on Sunday morning. 